Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, or even if your extended family has been with me for a while, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have been watching my channel and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two for me to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you for stopping by my channel today. And the, the music that I'm listening to, I don't know why I keep on saying video because I keep looking over there. I'm so sorry. So if I keep looking over here like that, it's because it's you know, it got kind of distracting for me because all these different animals keep popping up on the um on the meditation video. But it's called Relaxing Music for Stress Relief. It's dolphin dolphin singing, uh, soothing music for meditation, therapy, and sleep. So I will post that link in the description box below. I mean, hearing dolphins sing is so peaceful i mean sometimes it can get emotional because if you can really get in tune with your side your animal side when you can be able to communicate with animals you'll be able to feel a lot of things and i resonate with dolphins a lot so um it's very you know it, it feels very good when i listen to that so it's very beautiful but yes my video today is twin flame 101 no limit to your possibilities. There is no limit to your possibilities. You shouldn't see a limit to your possibilities. And it's just like, when you know you're on that journey, now I keep on talking about that journey because we're all on one. You, we need to go ahead and it's just like the more and more every day, it's like the more and more every day that I make my videos, the more I'm learning more about myself. So I try not to put no limitations on myself. Even when things get frustrated, I try not to put any kind of limitations on myself, and you shouldn't either. And it's just like we go through these things because we're tested every day to see how we are going to be strength strengthened or we're going to grow from the lessons uh, or the lessons that we are taught for that day or even for that moment. You know, I could be sitting up here saying, oh, I'm going to do these many videos, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and, you know, I'm not going to let nothing get in my way. The next thing you next thing you know, you get a phone call that will just aggravate the mess out of you, you know, with a bill collector or something like that, or, you know, it, it could be anything. It could just be anything, but that is the true test. When you put that out to the universe, that's just letting you know, like, hmm, you know, that she's putting that out there right now and she's really feeling this let me see if we can test her to see how she truly means that and it's just you should be able to take the ball you know take the, the balls as they're thrown at you you know take the punches as they're rolling at you and you know and it gets hard at times but you know when we put those limitations on ourselves as um, being having a fear you know that you know it blocks us up blocks our blessing and it's like cheating ourselves it really is. I feel like, you know, I'm cheating myself if I, you know, if I'm worried about what this person might say or, you know, how this might look to this person or, you know, how somebody might react to, you know, if I, you know, if I do this or take this out. And, you know, and I had to really tell myself that, you know, I can't be worried about that. You know, somebody out there might need to hear that message. And it's not your your duty you know i have to tell myself that it's not your duty to understand why you have to put this message out but it's saying that you need to put this out you know when you learn something and i tell myself that when i learn something every day you know and it has some kind of positive impact on my life or anything that has an impact on my life that it that it can shine out in a positive way i always make sure i share that with y'all because it's just we get to that point where you know, we get confused and, you know, we don't want to step out that comfort zone because we've been so used to things for so long. And some of us like change. Like, you know, I like change, but it's just the fact of going through that process of change. <laughs> it can be, oh my gosh, it can be aggravating. But, you know, there's some people that are like that and some people like the challenges. Like, I like to challenge myself at times, sometimes to the point where it aggravates the mess out of me. But I don't like routine, so I got to shake it up a little bit for myself and just, you know, be edgy. 
because it's just like if I want to shut these things up for myself and be edgy and step out and be, you know, step blind out in faith, you know, none of these things would have been possible for me. And it's just like I'm learning every day. And, no, you know, when I see myself as being a YouTuber, I know, you know, you have to start from the ground up. You know, there's there's some people that can just take off soaring. And there's some people that have to gradually do that. But during that process, I've, you know, I've consumed so much. And it was all positive. You know, whether it was negative, it still was positive because I've learned from that. You have to do that to yourself. It's just like every experience we come across, it could be devastating. It could be confusing. It could, it could piss you off. But as long as you know you have learned from those things and you grow from them, you know, you're not putting limitations on yourself. When you see yourself being able to do things that you know you haven't done yet, but you see yourself doing it, that lets you know you are you're really your imagination is really going out there and you're setting that out in stone that this is going to happen for me. I'm going to do this. And, you know, I might not be there yet, but I will be. You know, you keep pressing that out of existence. You know, don't put limitations on yourself. Take those chains off. Be able to step out and, you know, there's many talents that you probably have and you're probably pursuing one thing and then it's just something else caught, caught your, catches your eye. And then you find out something about this. And then next thing you know, you can bring all this stuff together. And you never know what you do. You never know what atomic bomb that you can make up that can be so magnificent. And it can impact the world in some kind of way. So I hope you are able to resonate with this video. I hope you are able to find something out of it and take a little bit back with you. I will keep you in my prayers and I definitely hope you do the same for me. Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Or even drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or if it's just about the comment of the content of my video. Or just to tell me about your spiritual gift. I will always love to hear from you. So you stay blessed and you stay prosperous and send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. Namaste. Much love. Peace. And be wild.